Time to look the neighbors them up already. We are on the road, headed to Devin's place yet again. What is up, Loud and Proud Crowd? Hopefully, you guys are doing absolutely fabulous. I'm trying to get the lighting just right. I'm trying to like film when the lighting is good because it has been really, it's really tough to do in the morning when the sun's like blaring in your face because then you disappear in the camera. So we're headed up to Devin Fry's place to do some front suspension stuff on the truck. I think you guys probably know where we're going with that. And we've also got something huge coming today in terms of shifting and accelerating and power to the ground. I think you guys know what I mean by that. Hopefully you're picking up what I'm putting down. You know what I'm saying? In terms of the front leveling kit, this is what we got to talk about. Why a front leveling kit? Well, I've done some votes on my Instagram and YouTube in the past couple of weeks and I basically asked everybody, said, hey, if you were to build your ideal truck, what would it be? Two to four inches or six inches plus. And to my surprise, 80% of people said they want a two to four inch. So what we went with, I believe it's a two and a half or it's a three inch leveling spacer for the front so we can get this truck nice and leveled out so that the wheels and tires fit just fine. I want it to be a daily usable, drivable, fun experience. I don't want it to be too crazy big. We are going to do some bigger trucks. Don't ever think that we're not going to do any more big trucks like the Longhorn, the OBS, you know, stuff like that. Because we are. For this particular truck, I thought this is the route that I wanted to go. Pretty excited. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. We're going to get over there to Devin's real quick, get some stuff done on the truck. We'll see what happens from there. But yes, we do have some stuff coming in for the second gen swap and we do have some other things coming in. So stay tuned guys. It's going to be pretty good. Oh yeah. And hopefully you guys liked the new intro for this video. I thought it'd be kind of cool and I had a subscriber actually make that up for me, I, he kind of asked me, hey, would you be interested in an intro? What do you want it to be about? I said, throw something together, use some of the giveaway winners, some stuff like that, just some small highlights, piece it together, and let's see what happens. I think he did a really, really good job, so leave a comment down there below for him. But in terms of this truck I'm driving right now, you can actually win it. So if you go down into the description below and you click that link, lnpgear.com, every $5 gets you one entry to win this truck. Ends on September 1st in just 22 days, so do not procrastinate and waste time Enter while you can, get those entries in, and enter to win this beautiful, beautiful third gen. Here we are. I'm assuming he just wants me to pull in. I don't think he's excited to do this one. So we're actually about to start working on the front leveling kit. <clears throat> so Devin's got it jacked up here. He got it up on his jack. He's gonna be getting his jack stands, obviously, to support the axle, but all we're doing, of course, like I said, is a two and a half inch leveling spacer. And then it's just going to stack on top of that coil. And then we're going to replace the strut with a Bilstein 5100 series. But other than that, pretty simple. Not as easy as like doing the 2018 or 19 trucks or any of the, you know, later model fourth gens. But it shouldn't be too terrible. Well, we got the truck all done. It is all leveled out. Devin did a great job on this. Didn't take him too long. It took him about two and a half hours, but that was because we did a lot of just talking and hanging out at the same time, so it kind of slowed him down. Truck looks good, nice and leveled up. So we're gonna actually get this back over towards Reagan in a nice place. Then what we're gonna do is get this truck actually taken down to Red Key, Indiana to maximum overdrive transmissions. And we are going to get the transmission built. We are in the wife's truck. We are actually headed over to my parents' farm and deer season is only five weeks away. So we are diehard deer hunters. And so we're gonna get out there and we have more food plus we wanna plant. We wanna get some late season turnips and radishes and stuff like that brassica in the grounds hopefully you guys enjoyed a little bit of that that's what we're going to be doing here and then also she needs to get something done with her truck so yeah we're going to run the tractor and go get some seed in the ground What do we have here? So guys, we are on the wifey's truck and we are back here with a paint scraper thing. Um, let me tell you what we're doing here. So we put the new Anthem wheels on her truck approximately, when was that, a week ago, two weeks ago? Yeah, I don't know, a week or two, it doesn't matter. The point is we put them on, took the truck there, 
the day after that she posted a video and people were saying don't forget about the retainers on the wheels and i'm like what could they possibly be talking about they said that the retainers on the wheels even though they're so small and so thin i mean you can see just how paper thin those things are they pretty much have almost nothing sticking out uh, but anyways they're just enough to create a small vibration in the truck right just a really 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 faint vibration if you're going like over 55 and so what we're going to do is pop these off I already took them off the fronts and the fronts have six of these little retainers and then the backs have two just one you know directly across from each other so all i've been doing is i've been putting this here taking my hammer hitting the back handle it bends the retainer out then i just take these snip it and they fall off so very simple process but just a really small small thing that you don't want to forget because now we have to stop our day and come over here just to do basically like a maintenance check just to make sure something doesn't break on the truck or anything doesn't go wrong i mean she might have put you know 25 miles 30 miles on the truck with these on there but it's definitely not something you want to push off so we're getting these popped off right now So we are on the road to maximum overdrive transmission. Now we didn't work out any kind of a deal on this, so that's not why I'm plugging them a lot. I've just gotten stuff done there several times. They just have a good name with me. So anyways, we're headed down there and Jim's gonna be the guy doing the build on the transmission. And Jim said he's been doing this since before I was born. And I believe the guy seems to have a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge about this kind of stuff. And I told him, hey, I told Jim I wanted the transmission to be built mostly for street use, like with the power that's gonna be thrown at it but also I don't want it to be strictly that. I want it to be able to comfortably and easily handle a trailer if the winner decides they want to do a lot of towing, hauling, stuff like that. Maybe they want to turn it into a hot shot rig. I don't know, whatever you guys want to do. So the truck's built for multi-purpose, not solely for one or the other stream. He's going to be putting a billet input shaft. He's going to be doing some kind of this and that and fancy mumbo jumbo. I don't know all the fine details. I will read you the sheet once he gives it to me when the transmission is done so that the winner knows exactly what kind of a built transmission they are getting. The transmission itself is going to cost me four to $5,000 to build. I'm not doing a cheap like hey bring it over to my garage and i'll do it for 1500 bucks it's not that type of deal it's an actual quality built transmission and he offers i believe i'm not holding him to this because he didn't tell me this recently but on the last one he did i thought he said he offered a 35,000 mile warranty on the build itself he'll fix whatever's wrong with it so anyways we're gonna get over to the shop here hopefully guys are super excited for this let me know what you guys think about the leveling kit now the truck does not have like cali lean I thought it was a three inch spacer. It's actually just a two and a half. So it's actually just like a true level. It rides nice still. It rides good in the clearance, obviously with this tires that are on it right now, tons of clearance. So now when we put the new wheels and tires on there, you guys are gonna see those soon. It's gonna have no issues whatsoever. It's not gonna be a rubbing wheel and tire setup. I can't stand that. How much do I get annoyed by having to do like a 15 point turn every Pretty time annoying. I wanna turn everywhere? Pretty annoying. It's pretty annoying. So like for Rosine, we need to get her five inch lift on there because it's not the funnest thing to like back up, pull forward, back up, pull forward, back up, pull forward. It's just not fun. It's not It's not enjoyable. It doesn't make it a great daily driver vehicle. And I don't want to do that to somebody and be like, oh, well, it looks great for pictures, you know, to get people in her. But yeah, it's like, it, look, it drives like crap. So we're putting a usable wheel and tire setup on this just like what we did with the Mordecai 12 valve. It's going to be a usable daily driver setup that you don't got to worry about you know, not being able to actually turn your wheel. Do not forget to grab your loud and proud merch. We got hats, tanks, backpacks, phone cases, all that stuff. If you're going back to school soon or college or whatever it is, we do have backpacks for sale and backpacks that get you entries to win a truck. So do not forget about that kind of stuff. You guys are down to the last 21 days. I think I mentioned that in the video earlier. I'm not 100%, but I think I mentioned this is the last 21 days to enter to win the giveaway. And for everybody that's like, oh my goodness, I didn't get double entries. If you really think about it, we used to only offer one entry for every $15 spent, which if you look at it now, that means that you're still technically getting three times the entries compared to what we have ever offered before. So you're still way making out on it. It's still a way better deal than we've ever done. It's still a huge potential for you to win this truck. Even at $5 an entry, this one hat is gonna get you six entries to win this truck. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.